think it's a bad uh, idler bearing, I think. So it's a little bit like getting rid of an old friend, but selling off the the 74 408 here, this is my little bit more beat up one out of the bunch, you know, the seat's a little ratty. Missing the battery cover, missing flywheel cover, but it does run. I never realized the lugs were actually broke on that. I think you still get a bolt in it. Mismatched tires. Hole, a holy deck. But anyhow, here I do a short little video. At least be for where stuff disappears too at the end of the year. So later guys, I'm off to work on a fellow buddy's tractor and he's buying this, so later. So guys, it's pretty nice out. Hopefully the wind's not getting you too bad, but that's the only problem. It's windy. And I'm sure the wind is bothering you guys now, but reorganized out here in between working on the 8162 into a 3T project so uh, yeah just out here monkeying around it's a nice warm day uh, rearranging some stuff I might go pick up like some deck shells I got laying out down here and things like that so but anyhow we'll get back into that project here in a couple minutes hopefully maybe I'm to the point of wiring it and firing it, basically, so, anyhow, here we go, an electrical parts tractor, need cables, I have a steering wheel inside for that, I'm pretty sure, I'll have to double check, need a bearing for the steering, which that won't have, but, eh, anyhow, I'll have to figure that out, later guys. So guys, at first, when I took the cylinder head off, I was like, what in the, is that, and then I realized it's a rag. The bore's not terrible, it's got some surface rust on it. The motor still turns. I wanted to take this off and see if this cylinder was any good or not. The answer to the question is maybe. Oops, I'm sorry. I was looking at it, not what you guys were looking at. It's not terrible looking. I have definitely seen a lot worse. Eh, yeah, maybe I'll pull this thing apart potential for the Navy L the only issue is right here but there's still uh, the bolt hole is still there and there's a nut uh, they had a nut underneath of it which is something that I would probably just do anyhow so that'll be enough for, a, for an L especially a show L if you're gonna work it every day and you know but, I guess I'm going to look into that for the AVL, and I have that cylinder there, plus the other cylinder I had. Because show season's coming, guys. Uh, I should have been monkeying with this over the winter, and I don't know. I did kind of start into it, and then just kind of got like, eh, like to hell with it, I'll deal with it, sort of thing going on. So, anyhow, I don't know if I'll monkey with this anymore, or, or what. Uh, a friend of mine gave me this stuff for putting an electric start on a, an L form, and not only that, we had to get a uh, uh, fan pulley from behind the starter clutch and the long bolt and the spacer, which I swore he had the long bolt and the spacer when I looked at it last year, but it was MIA when we went to do it yesterday. So. Anyhow, just what I'm up to.